Welcome back to this World of Warcraft Let's Play and here we are folks. You can see we'll get straight into it, into a Scarlet Monastery Library. Let's enter the dungeon. Been waiting for a very long time to get this to pop. And finally it's come up. So yes, once again, welcome to you. Sorry that the intro is short. But of course, you never know when these are going to pop. And here we are right inside. You can see the map here. This is the library. And of course, at the end of the library is the major boss, Herod. You may remember... Oh, is it Herod? Pretty sure it's Herod down there in the circular area. Having to fight our way through, of course. We'll check out the party in just a moment. Let's grab our quests first. The only true path you can see here, first one that we have to take down is Arcanist Doan and eliminate the Houndmaster Loxy and Arcanist Doan. Alright, and we'll accept that. Alright, so what have we got? We've got ourselves a nice Night Elf Druid Bear Tank. And we've got ourselves a level 32 Drenai Priest Healer. And we've got a level 32 Human Warlock as DPS. We've got ourselves, of course, Worgen Mage on DPS. And we've got a Gnome Warrior on DPS as well. Alright, so just a quick back chat, uh, rather backstory. Again, we're in the Scarlet Monastery. The Scarlet Monastery has a bunch of different wings in it. And of course, we've already run one of them, the Graveyard. This is the second one, and we need to get ourselves some food, actually. So, so far, the group seem to be pretty good. No idiots that I can tell. Although it's early stages, you never know. Now, this can be quite a rough instance at level as well. And of course, those of you who have been playing WoW well since the good old days will be intimately familiar with this, and especially the Houndmaster that we're going to be coming up against very shortly. And what's that? A leather belt. We'll choose Disenchant for that. Not going to be nasty and greed on things that we can't use. So yes, hopefully this will bring back lots of memories for you guys running through this courtyard here. And of course, the Houndmaster just in the room up ahead of us. Nice to have a bear tank. You can see there that he's got, what's he got? 2,335 hit points. Yikes. And of course, making sure that our Molten armor is up as well. Alright. There we are, releasing the hound. That's him, the hound master. Now, do you know what? I've still got the very first time I ever got the trinket from here. The very first character I ever had in WoW. I remember coming here and actually rolling greed on this and getting it and thinking, wow, that's awesome. I actually still have that in my bank. So it's basically seven years old, or, and we'll talk about seven years in a minute as well. But I still have that original item in my original Toons bank, can you believe it? And you can see the Houndmaster there is still up. And there it is, that's the one there. The dog whistle binds when picks up, it's a trink trinket, and its use summons a tracking hound that will protect you for 10 minutes. A nice little uh, item there, we'll choose greed on that. Oh, someone's chosen need. It's a bit silly, let's keep an eye on them. Inner City Pro. I'm just gonna choose greed anyway, even though I know we won't win it. Let's do some skinning while we're here. Oh, 
Oh, what? Don't tell me someone's dropped already. And fortunately, it was only... Wasn't the tank. Thank goodness for that. Because if the tank disappears, then we're really boned. And you can see we've got a character called Yuho coming here from Frostmourne. Oh, hello, Frostmourne. And they're a gnome warlock. So obviously DPS. Let's hope the tank doesn't drop. Here we are, retrieve the Compendium of the Fallen. Got another quest there. And we've got all these people on us. Yikes, we need to put up our Mage Ward. Let's get in here so that these mobs get picked up. By the tank, of course, I mean. We have ourselves a little healing potion there. Just to keep on the safe side. Yes, as I said, you can see here the party taking a lot of damage. And some leather leggings there. And that's a nice cloth item there, although it's shadow spell damage. Uh, so we'll just choose disenchant on that because it's no good for us. Leather braces, disenchant again. And let's bring out Macablo. So again, these halls hopefully looking very familiar to anyone that's run since Vanilla WoW. Lots of great memories running through here, and of course it used to be nail-biting stuff back in the day. These days, of course, it's pretty tame. Although, as I said, you still have to be a little bit careful, even at level, because they tend to sort of swarm you. Big groups that can get pulled. Oh, that guy there won't die. There we go. So the tank doing the right thing here, by the way, going in and grabbing all of the mobs from out of the side rooms there. Come on, Vista. Don't let us down now. Not in the middle of an instant. And you can see somebody's already got the tracking hound out there from the little trinket that dropped. Again, this here used to be a really, really nasty room to pull. In fact, all of these rooms were. And the tank there, just grouping them all together. Now somewhere around here we also have to find the Compendium of the Fallen 
and you can see nowadays of course we got the map makes things a lot easier so here's where we came in through the huntsman's cloister there that's where the houndmaster was and you can see obviously we're making our way here to arcanist doan so of course it's not herod silly me that's in another wing of the scarlet monastery and you can see here we've got the armory we've got the cathedral and the graveyard and of course the that there the armory is where here it is not where we are at the moment where we are at the moment is in the library of course so yes arcanist doan is the big boss that we need to grab And you can see there people saying, hey, you need the book. And there it is. Just pinging the map so that the others can see where that is. And you can see also that we'll have to go back later and actually hand that in. Oh, the memories flooding back. There's someone asking where you get the quest for the book. I'm saying, don't worry, it's back. We'll go there. But yes, all the memories are flooding back, of course, from running this back in the day. I remember back on my early Paladin and Warlock and uh, of course tanking it these days as well. Lots of fun. Right, so you can see the tanks being nice and actually pointing out where the book is for Spork. And I'm just saying the quest is back away, but we'll go back there later. And again, just catching up on the story if you're not aware of it. Scarlet. Scarlet Monastery, home of these Scarlet Monks, the Scarlet Crusade, pretty much. Bunch of religious fanatics. Whoops, and the tank is dead. This could be bad. If we can chip away at these guys, gosh, edgy seek stuff, we may be able to survive. Whew! Alright, that was close. That was very close. And there we go, you can see the priest resurrecting our tank now. And the buffing up and we're back ready to rock and roll let's see if we can trade some food to this guy maybe
Just give him some mana. It's always a nice thing to do if you're a mage. And there he is, Arcanist Doan. That's who we need. Let's make sure all of our wards and shields are up. You will not defile these mysteries. And we're silenced. Nasty. And you see he's taking a massive pummeling as well. We haven't even got him down. Oh, yep, he's down to about 25% now. And of course some classic iconic gear coming out of the Scarlet Monastery. This guy's no exception. There we go, slain. And the Mantle of Dome, that's what we were after. And the Illusionary Rod. So we're going to need on the Mantle there. And of course that's a very iconic piece of gear. <coughs> Excuse me. And we'll just greed, I think, on the Illusionary Rod just to be nice. And I won the Mantle of Dawn, which is fantastic. My gratitude. All right, we're going to say, hey, we'll go back and get that quest for you if you want. And in fact, it might be actually easier to teleport out than back in. So let's do that. Just right click on the little dungeon finder, dungeon finder eye up the top there. And if you right click on that, of course, you get the option to teleport out. Once you're out, we can go back in again. And that'll put us right at the beginning of the instance, which is a lot uh, quicker and a lot closer to where we need to hand in. So here we go. Right click teleport to dungeon. And that should take us straight back into the entrance. There we go. And we've got a hand in right here. The only true path. And you can see we get ourselves a nice ring there. And that's got, what has it got? Stamina and hit rating. Oh, so it's not the best. We'll take it anyway. And 1700 XP. Thank you very much. Now we just need to find our way here to hand in the other quest, of course, which is where the where the uh, quest giver for the compendium is. Oh god, there's still mobs there. Yikes. Yeah, you see the other players doing exactly the same thing. Just being careful there, we don't aggro those guys over the other side of the courtyard. And there we have it, Dominic. Here we go, we've got the compendium of the fallen for you. Another 1700 XP for us. And that is fantastic. And there we go, folks. That is it. We have thankfully completed now. If we have a look, hopefully. Did we get an achievement? Oh, wait a minute. We haven't got the achievement. Oh, that's right. The achievements are actually different for this particular one because, of course, it's made up of all the different wings. If you see there now, you can see we've actually got Arcanist Done. And we've got Blood Mage Thelnos done. That was from the graveyard. We're yet to do Herod, of course, from the armory and the cathedral, which contains Scarlet Commander Mograine and High Inquisitor White Mane. And of course, those of you who have played the game lots in the past will remember nothing other than White Mane's Chapeau. I'm sure you remember that piece of gear. 
that was something that I always wanted to get as a caster as well. So there we go. Fantastic. Well done, Seraphis. We have completed, finally, completed that dungeon. If we have a look in the dungeon finder now, you can see that basically we've got till the end of level 40 to do another couple here that you haven't seen before. We've got Meriden, the Wicked Grotto part of that, and we've got Razorfen Crawl, which is way down the bottom of the Barrens. But basically that's now given us a little bit of breathing room uh, so that we've, uh, what do we got, like a level and a half now to complete those other two. They do sneak up on you very quickly. But uh, in the meantime, let's have a look now and check out our ill-gotten gains. And you can see here Mantle of Doan. If we do a compare there, you can see actually, yeah, all right. So it's a little bit better than what we've got by six armor. So what we'll do is we'll go to our outfits here, go to normal. We'll equip that one. There we go, and again, look at that, folks. If you've played WoW for a long time, you'll absolutely remember what that one looks like. I'm sure any casters out there watching have seen that hundreds and hundreds of times. We'll save that, yes. And is that one used for fishing? No, it's not, so we can sell that. Now, this one here, the ring, unfortunately, we actually lose intellect. So either one of those are no good, so we're going to sell, sell them off. And in fact, what we'll do is we'll hop, skip, and jump over to... A vendor, nearby vendor. Where have we got one? Maybe over, actually I know, we'll go to the fishing vendor. It should be nice and handy. Oh, it's beautiful here in Darnassus, isn't it? Love it, love it, love it. All right, here we go. Fishing supplies, that's of course where we can get rid of our stuffs. Here we go, get rid of all our gray items. Get rid of the Mulgore Spice Bread, the Swift Thistle we want to pop up on the Auction House. Same with the wool there. Get rid of the Wild Hog, hog Shank and the Sweet Nectar and the Stormwind Bree. They can all go. Of course, we'll be using the Silk Cloth for our first aid. That's very handy. I love running the Scarlet Monastery because they're all humanoid. That means they all drop cloth, of course, which is great. All right, let's sell off our old shoulders. And the band of the arcanist, which just happens to be of no use to us. And I think, yeah, greater healing potion. That can go as well. And what we might do quickly is just do our bandaging. Let's create all of those. And you can see we're 214 out of 300 now. slowly getting there silk bandage and heavy bandage no we won't bother doing that so 218 pretty sure the next one the next level is about 250 or something like that maybe it's 240 so we'll have to go back and check on that uh, at some stage now what i was talking about before of course seven years been playing for seven years got that item in my bank there that nice little trinket from the hound master that reminded me by the way folks you can see here if we look in our achievements look at this we've got wow's seventh anniversary I forgot to mention the other day when we got our mail of course from the wow dev team here with a celebration package that increases our experience and reputation gains from kills by seven percent for one hour we also automatically get ourselves a feat of strength over here in terms of achievements. You can see here, logged in during WoW's 7th anniversary. Now, this is an important thing because, of course, if you have a bunch of other tunes, then you'll want to actually log in during the anniversary period. What that means, of course, is that you get that because on all my other tunes, I've got the 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 5th, 6th anniversaries, and, of course, we want to keep that going and make sure that we've got the seventh one chopped up on all of our other tunes. Now, if we look at the calendar, I think, I think from memory, it's not marked on here, but I'm pretty sure that anybody that logs in between, I think it's this any time this week, hopefully it hasn't finished because I've still got to log in on my other characters. So I think it's during this week, uh, then you get to get that feat of strength. And you can see also we've only got till Sunday to do the Pilgrim's Bounty now, now that we've actually done the Dungeon Finder here, we don't have to worry about getting more XP. In the next episode, that's exactly what we'll be doing. Uh, we will be speaking to the commoner over here. Let's go over and have a look. And this is quite exciting because it means also that we're going to be heading to Stormwind for the first time. We're going to actually sail right across the continent. If we have a look on the map here, we'll bring it up. There we go. 
zoom out you can see we're in Kalimdor of course we've spent our entire life over here so far and we're currently in the southern barrens of course if we zoom right out to the big wide world of Azeroth you can see we've got the eastern kingdoms over here and if we click on that you can see we've got Elwyn Forest and that's where we need to head to Stormwind City which is the major alliance capital and we'll get there via the harbour so what we'll be doing actually is catching a boat from over here in Rutherin village down the bottom of the tree where we are now and we'll be catching a boat right across here all the way over to the eastern kingdoms and that's where we'll kick off our pilgrim's bounty and of course not forgetting that that is also a great way of leveling up your cooking skill so if we look at our cooking at the moment you can see we're a little bit poor on there 45 out of 75 what we want to do is use the pilgrim's bounty to actually level that right up we'll be able to max it out the max level that we'll be able to take it for our character level in fact and it's a very nice fast way of doing that across all of your characters so look for that in the next Next episode, we'll dedicate a special to the Pilgrim's Bounty. Very cool event. So there we go. We're nearly out of time. That's about it for us. We got ourselves, well, what do we get? We got ourselves a nice pair of new shoulders. There it is. And of course, we managed to knock out one of the achievements here for our dungeons and raids in the classic here. Uh, going to Scarlet Monastery now. We've only got Herod, Scarlet Commander Mograine, and High Inquisitor White Mane to do. And we'll be doing that very shortly too. Once probably we'll do that after, because again, look at this. We've got only got to level 40. Uh, we'll be hopping into the Dungeon Finder again after we've done the Pilgrim's Bounty quest. So there you go, folks. Certainly hope you enjoyed that reminiscent run through the uh, Scarlet Monastery there. Sure, it really brings back memories to me. Great times, great times. Especially when they were uh, some of the only dungeons that were available and some of the only places you could get some awesome gear as well. So I hope you enjoyed that. Anyway, on behalf of myself, Sambo, and of course, Seraphis, our level 39 and three quarters organ mage, just us saying take care. Certainly hope you're having a great day wherever in the world you are. Look forward to seeing you next time. We'll see you then, and bye-bye.